to another episode of Austria, where I am fighting World War II in uh, part 3 or 4 of the Second Great War. Not as epic as the uh, Second Great War in our timeline, but still an epic enough standoff where we're about to just lay waste to a lot of these nations. I mean, just look at this. We're about to finish up with almost all the land. Uh, it's it's utterly unfathomable that these guys are going to beat me now. Okay, and since we have our men somewhat fully healed, we're going to go start crushing onto the uh, Yugoslavians. Who are trying to be all snarky and hipster and like thinking, yeah, we could totally steal some land from our good friends, the Greeks. And with that, that means they just doom themselves for me to go kill them. But it's also quite annoying to deal with the fact America... Ooh! Yeah! I'd love to get fantastic African soldiers. Yeah, totally! Why did we not think of that idea before? Acquire... Wait, who wants Aquitaine? Spain. Hmm... Most of these are actually not that bad. Okay, we, we could give you Spain, but I'm probably going to have to do a peaceful... Spain's the one leading the war right now, I'm pretty sure. So we're probably going to have to do a peace out with you guys separately, and then do another one, you know, willy-nilly. Of course, if we just get to 100%, we could just do all of it, but still. Man, dang it. Now the USA is probably going to hate me. I'm not even trying to be a, a, an evil person. Seriously, I was trying to be a nice person. It was all because of the stupid, stupid war. <sighs> if you guys already decide what you guys want, I'm done. You know, I'm done. I'm sending you my peace offer because I don't want to be in this war anymore. Whoever's the war leader, get me out of it. I don't want to be in it. I don't want to be a part of this. I don't even know why I'm a part of that war. That war should not even be in it. I don't even care. Just, come on guys, America, destroy Brazil. I don't even care anymore. Just destroy them. Make them dis be destroyed. I don't even want the land that they're offering. I don't even want them to expand. They're annoying me, and they ruined our relationship. That's the other thing, is that this war tore us apart. We were such great friends before this. Ugh. Now I'm going to have to deal with just being friends with the Germans. Which is not exactly the worst thing in the world, but... It's not the same. It's just not the same. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're just going to crush through all that land right there. And while we finish up the rest of the conquest of the, uh, of France, Blend, they're going to start turning all their troops back to the Eastern Theater, which is now going to be much easier to manage because we just have to deal with, uh, Xenoph uh, lots and lots of Russians. That's all we have to deal with now. And... Honestly, Germany can deal with Russia by itself, but with us semi-helping, we could probably help them out and do this even better. We're also going to be crushing through all of Yugoslavian land, because Yugoslavia is annoying. I won't deny, they are definitely annoying. Uh, conservatives claim victory, and I was also thinking, one of our grandest things we should do, uh, dang, I guess we can't do it. I was thinking maybe we should, for Italy, maybe we should, like, free a little country, like, uh, the Papal States, the Papal States, apparently we can't do that. Okay, anyways, seems like there's a there's like one little army right here of French resistance, which we're going to go crush, just so we don't have to deal with annoying powers, I should say. And it looks like, see, they're always starting to turn all the attention over here, and it seems like the front has finally leveled out to the point where we can finally tell what the heck is going on. Maybe now we can finally help with whatever's going on over here, I can't. I still don't quite know, but we're gonna we're gonna first. I guess the best way we're gonna help at first is we're gonna crush through all of Yugoslavia, and then we're gonna start dealing with like all this that's happening over here and all the injustices that are coming about because of it. Okay, now let's just crush through all this land. I'm just having to finish up all this. The last French army. Let's see the epic last stand of the French as we hunt them down ruthlessly in a kind of sort of evil manner but really just way of life of how natural order food chain things work yeah <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about anymore people but they're gonna die they're gonna move move our soldiers there ah, look at all that land it's all now underneath conquest and all underneath our control 
beautiful. Just beautiful. And there we go. Crush the rest, the last little bit of them. And now the Germans are completely free with deciding to go towards here. Which also means that we have a completely free uh, Spanish... Basically we have free soldiers everywhere. Like everyone is completely free right now. Let's just keep moving down our army. Just keep moving down everywhere. Like seriously, now we have so much, and I really wish I could take this part right here of uh, Yugoslavia, but apparently that's their capital now, which annoys me to no end. And let's go see, just keep conquering all of this, that way we have a, uh, that way we have the advantage, and that way we can hold these two fronts right here very effectively, because we could probably beat most armies that try to come over here, but we probably can't beat an army that tries to, uh, backstab us if they try to go in through here so yeah uh and right now i think our conservatives are actually edging out of victory i really don't know anymore because our country is so different than it used to be like we used to have such a great country but now it's just like meh let's see what do people want right now if you guys are going to say non-social i'm not going to give you that large endowment we could do we could do large endowment okay I have enough money right now to give you guys large endowment, but I'm not going to give you guys uh, the other thing. I mean, I'm putting my foot down. I'm, ser I'm serious. You guys aren't getting that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then, yeah. France is now... Yep, France is gone. Let's go help siege down this province right here for the Germans. Just to help speed it up for them. Because even with this... Wow, this siege is really going slow. I don't know why. It's just like that particular province of Charlemagne is just like insanely hard to conquer and now we got the final level of railroad huzzah huzzah and now there's any other things we can get let's get the final levels of like our army and artillery and everything we're at the final levels everyone the final levels and let's see some artillery rallying points All right let's just keep moving down keep moving down oh man they're not even, they don't even know what to do now. Because now they're like, oh shoot. We're now losing this war pretty epically. And if they, if any of my vassals want any type of land from uh, our good friend right here. If Montenegro wants anything from Yugoslavia, please be, please feel free to ask. I don't even care. Install democracy. Install, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna install democracy under Yugoslavia. Because that's totally the reason why we went to war with them. Was because they, or the reason why they went to war with us, because they are evil communists. Yeah. There we go. Proceed. Install democracy. There we go. I don't know why I did that, but they're now a dem democratic nation. Gosh, wow. And apparently, a lot of people are. Wow. Ukraine, you really want to expand. Let's see, would Russia accept any of these demands? Okay, would they accept all the reasonable demands that I have? Actually, you don't need to do the cut down the size one. Wow, Russia, you guys don't want to give up yet. Huh. Okay. Let's talk to French let's talk to the Frenchies then, because the Frenchies probably will accept none of this, actually. Okay. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to give up all this. Uh, we're still a little bit over. Probably gonna give Annex. Hmm. We could give up this. Okay. So let's see. How much war school have have we accumulated? I'm taking Manzova. Uh, West Garcia. We could probably take back that. Because these guys are going to be disarmed for about a couple years anyways. It doesn't even matter if we do anything. Uh, kind of want I do want to kind of give the Germans something. So that they aren't completely mad at me. Okay, we can't give them Alice Lorene. I guess we can't give them uh, Pamela. Yeah, we can't give them Pamela. But we can't give them Alice Lorene region. Which does still create tension between those regions. Uh, man, you know what? If I can, I think what I'm going to do is actually keep this war going for a little bit. The reason why is just because I do want to kind of... Uh, I, I want to individually destroy Germany, uh, Russia. 
Because right now, Russia, we could definitely take a lot from them. Besides for this, I don't know why we cut down the taxes. Yeah, I'm not going to give you that, Germany. I do want this. This is what I kind of want from them. So if we can get that from them, then this would be a great thing. So, yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. Uh, America, you guys are being an annoying prick right now. In fact, you're helping the French out a lot, which I'm really starting to be annoyed with because I don't want to be in this war, but it's not letting me out of this war. They would not accept. Really? Just accept it? I'm not fighting you guys for anything. What do you guys want? <sighs> okay. Yeah, Brazil, you guys are my national hatest, hated vassal list. Like, I, I have a, not only do I have a, my favorite vassal list, but I have a hated vassal list, and they're on my hated vassal list. They've officially annoyed me to the point of no return. Splendid idea. Whatever it was, it was a splendid idea. Okay, and I'm going to move back all my armies, now that we're done with this. See, my only problem is, is I don't care if, whatever America does. America can go conquer all of Spain for all I care. My only worry is that... They try to reconquer. If they start trying to reconquer France, then I'll be worried. Okay. If they don't try that, then I'm fine with whatever they do. But if they try to start reconquering France, then we have a problem, because they should not do that. France is definitely not negotiable in terms of reconquer reconquisto. Comprende? Okay. Let's see. What do you guys want in terms of peace deal? Force France to dismantle empire. Acquire. 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 Hmm. Um, as I said, I'm just going to try to individually peace out. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Germans won't get out of this war just yet. So, I'm pretty sure they want to get some stuff out of this, and I want to get them some stuff. So, if they stay in this war with me, then we could probably gain a lot of stuff, basically. So, and I'm, try I'm trying to give them a good amount. No, stop. Stop doing that. I don't want the peace. Uh, we want to kind of crush through a lot of Russia's land. Which, with Ukraine and all of our allies combined, we're just easily going to be able to. It's just going to be a matter of timing. Oh well. That doesn't matter. Declare it illegal? Leave it to be? I think I'll just leave it be. It doesn't matter too much to me. Yeah. With all these nations, we should be able to crush through everything. And yes, they are, they are at a hundred percent. But we're not a hundred percent of what, of what I want uh, these guys to individually give up. At the very least, this is why I want them to give up. And at the very, very least, this much. And then, wow, they just don't accept surrender. Well, I'm gonna make you guys sur accept surrender because we're just gonna take over your entire land because. We have the we have the technology to do that. And I have complete and other confidence that we can easily win this. In fact, I'm gonna stick like three soldiers right here to make sure that we can stop any future like Russian Russian cheekery or sneakery and they try to get through my land again through this way. Cause that was pretty cheap. They should not have been able to get through my land this way. But yeah, with all those with all those other allies and men going through the land. Oh, great. Are they not in my sphere of influence anymore? No, they are in my sphere. It's just I'm having a particular nation move in to come be jerks. Gosh dang. Yeah, th this war is kind of stupid I'm fighting. I, I really wish the AI would realize this war is not worth any of our time. We really don't have to be fighting this war right now. I don't want to be fighting this war. You guys don't want to be fighting this war. I'm not even... I'm not even sending troops to really workshop of the world. I don't really care. And let's see, somebody's Venezuela. Well, Venezuela, I don't really care about. Oh my goodness, finally! Oh my goodness, the Chinese finally broke up. Oh my goodness, and it's even better than I thought. Oh gosh, but I have like no power right now. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. So let's see, who is. Oh. They're all civilized. Shoot! Gosh dang it! Ah! I waited this entire time for the warlord period and they all westernized. Gosh. Gosh. Man. 
<sighs> well, at least we have our massive moving in armies that are just completely crushing whatever whatever resistance we might have. I mean, we're we have become conquerors of epic proportion. There is absolutely nothing they can do to stop us now. Uh, these guys though are annoying, and they're just going to keep kind of tying up some of our troops down there, which I don't like. And apparently, we have all of our troops right here going to be squished. Shoot, not much I can really do about that. Just everyone, if you can, get out, get out, get out of there. Just everyone, yes, if you can, retreat, retreat. I guess we couldn't retreat. I lost all my men. Oh gosh, I lost all my navy. In one war, all the naval stuff I'd been trying to do, and all the stuff I'd been trying to do for my country, gone. And it seems like they are slightly being... French, the Frenchies are slightly being annoying down here, so I'm gonna go crush them. Argentina, whatever! I didn't even care! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's start improving our relationships back with America. Gosh dang it, you guys. That was a stupid war we fought. You idiots. Arge Emperor Brazil, you guys are idiots. Honestly. Oh my goodness, you guys... Seriously, we didn't have to fight that long. We really didn't have to fight that long. Over here, I know we could probably end the war. Let's see, what do they want? I would seriously love this deal if it was me. But, like, I know we could probably get a lot more if we break up them first and then get the peace deal over here. Which is why I'm kind of separating them. Because I think it'd be much more beneficial is to get this individually war scored out. And even if I just get my land, man, they just will not accept anything. Uh, I really don't want to fight this all the way to over here. That'd be really lame, especially considering, yeah. But if we really have to, we really have to. And I don't mind. I don't mind all my all my German friends moving in all the way to the ends of the earth, the Russian Empire, especially since the Russians are going to be weak after this, no matter what they do. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out and see. Cause I guess I guess also the point of this is that we don't want to strengthen the Germans. So Hmm. Let me think about this actually. What do we want from this war? Because that is the question. We don't really You know actually, why would we be strengthening the Germans foothold on anything? We should be strengthening our allies position on stuff so let's get let's have the uh, our good friends the uh, what's disarmament yeah there we go there we go I think I think I kind of want I kind of want to do that too you know what no because Spain's not really that big of an ally to us Wait, wait, let me make, before I do this, let's see, who's coming up right now in terms of powers? Ukraine is 105th. Well, this will destroy both of them. Basically, I'm taking out two birds with one stone with doing this, because I'm weakening their grasp on, I'm weakening, the, the French are going to be weakened no matter what they do, because they're going to have two cut down the sizes, so, yeah, I think I like this deal. Okay. And I get Mazovia. Martinid, for Sarment. Okay, yeah, and the, and the Germans get nothing. I like this. Let's go for it. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, wow, that is an ugly border that uh, Ukraine now has, but. Uh, nationality, I probably could have taken that region too, but it really doesn't matter because it's really not that important to me, but yeah. I'm only taking this region, because honestly, this region right here annoys me. So, yeah, that was the Great War, everyone, where we expanded by an entire, literally an entire population. Um, now we have an entire new region. I'm going to open up all factories. Let's see, where is it? Istria, Manzova. There it is, Manzova right here. We have accepted culture of everyone there, so 
don't we're not even gonna fret over there because it's just basically everyone already likes this and everything's already fine over there and then Wes Garcia and yeah I, I was gonna show you guys let me find Wes Garcia before I like finish out today's episode Wes Garcia right there so yeah this was actually a good province because look how much they built up so yeah good job in fact I'm actually gonna encourage the uh, craftsman here uh, on back uh, we can move Chance Dubia. Let's get some more factory workers here because there's a lot of empty slots. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was the Great War of the Second Great War where we took basically all of Poland, expanded Ukraine to basically be our entire buffer state, and practically weakened France to the point of no return. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.